Welcome to the Savage Video, the only new talk show bringing you tomorrow's music today. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the Savage Instinct Video, and I'm your host, Eileen Walsh, and our in-studio guest today is Ken Anderson from the band Generation Lost, and he is an excellent bass player, and we're lucky enough to have him down here today. Hi, Ken. Hi. How you doing? How are you doing, Eileen? Um, I was wondering if you could tell us how long you've been with Generation Lost. I've been with the band almost five years now. Really? Yes. Um, who were your influences? Like, when did you start also? Um, I started way back in junior high. Really? Playing string bass. Mm -hmm. Yep, right. Um, before that, I've been listening to everything, everything mm -hmm. I can. Paul McCartney, you know, the Beatles. Yeah. Um, Getty Lee, Rush, um, S Steve Harris, Iron mm -hmm. Maiden. So you have a very varied variety. Yeah. Variety. <laughs> That's great. Um, did you? I heard that you took classical bass upright. Yeah. Yeah. yeah How many um, years? I st started taking that in junior high. Mm -hmm. I followed it all the way up to college. I really? went to college. Um, at CW Post, mm -hmm. studied classical music, um, then grew my hair long and <laughs> took up the bass, <laughs> guitar. And um, tell us about the band, like the style of your music and... Um, the style of music we are, we're, we're more of an alternative rock, mm -hmm. hard rock mm -hmm. genre, something like that. <laughs> and um, how does it feel to play live? Like, does it really get your oh, it's adrenaline? Great. It's great. It's yeah. great. The, before the show, you're all psyched and you know, yeah. you're all pumped, and you just go on and everything just breaks loose. It's really you forget, great. You forget about people out there, and it's, yeah. it's great. That's really great. So you really love what you do. You don't do oh, it yeah. because you want to get famous or rich no. or anything. It's no, just... that's, that's important to do mm -hmm. You know what you want to do. If you're not confident in doing it, you shouldn't be doing it at all. Yeah, that's a very good attitude. Mm, thank Where, you. Welcome. <laughs> Where do you play out here, and do you play in the city? Uh, yes, we play out on the island. We play at Sparks. Mm -hmm. Other clubs, we used to play at Sundance before it closed down, um, playing at Moon Dancers and everywhere. In the city, we play a lot of clubs in the city. That's primarily where we play, because that's where the scene is out there right now. Um, <laughs> and what is it like recording? Like, what, what do you have recorded And when you go into the studio? Mm -hmm. like, like, tell me all about that. Um, well, when we go into the studio, we recorded... A lot of songs. Yeah. We try to do as many as we can mm -hmm. with the time and budget we have. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it gets a little nerve-wracking, but it's fun, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, who does the writing? Um, does? We started with Jay Camiola writing a lot of the songs. Mm -hmm. Then we got Tammy Curran, mm -hmm. lead guitarist. Um, he's a good songwriter. Mm -hmm. Then we just got a new lead singer. He's a great songwriter. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everyone puts in their little parts here and there. So the songs that you write, they're really, they're from your heart. It isn't yeah. just something that you sit down and say, okay, I'm going to write about this. And exactly. And are going to listen. We try to express ourselves as best we can. That's really great. And um, you've, played, you've played live with, like, really, like, some big names. And yeah, we've played um, National Assistance's Mind Funk, mm -hmm. Kick Tracy. Really? Um, Danger Danger. Mm -hmm. Star Star. Um, the Throbs, really, which are now the Vibes. I think they're defunct now, mm -hmm. but yeah, played with a couple. Really? <laughs> yeah. And have you had anybody open for you yet? Um, we've had bands open up for us, but yeah. nothing that uh, really local. Not, yeah, actually, Danger Danger opened up for us. Really? Yeah. When was this? Ah, <laughs> uh, God, that was about three and a half, four years ago. Really? Yeah, it was only a year after been in the band. Wow. Had a place called Reds and Comac. <laughs> How do you feel about um, opening for a national acts as compared to like opening compared to headlining? I'd rather play for national acts mm -hmm. because when you play a headlining show, um, you go on really late. Yeah. And national acts, there's always a guaranteed crowd, which is great. Mm -hmm. You know, you're always playing, you get as much exposure as you can. Yeah, because like when you're headlining, they can put you on at like Two. three in the morning. One, exactly. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> okay, and what do you see for yourself in the future? You're gonna stay with the band and Oh yes, I'll stay with the band as long as it takes. Um I really believe in what we're doing. Um so anyone come down to the show, please. <laughs> when is your next show? Um we're playing Atlantis mm -hmm. on Friday. Um 
Moon Dancers, just about a lot of sun, all the Sundays really. Mm -hmm. Next coming two months. Um, have the bank coming up. Really? Yeah, we got a lot. Okay, and um, we have some live footage from you guys, a song oh, called Shallow, right. and um, we're going to show it to you right now. Generation Lost, Jay Camiolo. Hi, Jay. Thanks for coming down. Okay, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> um, same kind of questions I was going to ask Ken, but who are your influences? As far as uh, drummers are concerned, yeah. uh, I'd say the biggest influence is a uh, guy by the name of Terry Basio. Really? And uh, as far as songwriting, I'd say uh, Lennon McCartney. Really? Definitely, and David Bowie. So you have almost a little bit of the same influences as Ken does. Kind yeah, of. <laughs> yeah, but well, I think the Beatles influence everybody. Okay, um, well, right now we have to go to a commercial break, but I hope that you stay tuned because we have Jay Camiola with us. And so keep watching. in here. The 9X Yellow Pages. Why would anyone need another? Hi, we're back and uh, you're watching the Savage video and I'm here with Jay Camiolo of Generation Lost. He plays the drums. And um, we, I remember we were talking on the phone last night and you were telling me about a song called Project Earth. And it sounds very, very emotional, very from your heart. And I was wondering if you could share with the audience what it's about. Yeah, it's very. Touching. It's a pretty personal song. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's kind of an odd topic to write a song about. Yeah, but in a nutshell, it was written uh, based on the the uh, jogger who was raped in Central, Central Park, Park quite a few years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, it just basically was a reflection on like watching the news and saying like, you know, it's it's a pretty scary thought that some woman who's just uh, out jogging was raped and you know beaten literally near death mm -hmm. by a bunch of kids and that. You know, that's something to really think about, like what kind of world we're living in when something like that becomes a commonplace event on yeah. the local news. That's pretty scary. Yeah, and how, so, uh, and how parents raise their children, that they don't, it's like nobody has any values or anything. Yeah, you know, yeah. so it was just kind of like not really a blame on God, but it was just a reflection of, you know, did you forget your Project Earth? Because there's a lot of things going on down here that shouldn't be shouldn't going on. shouldn't be happening. You have yeah. so many elements to deal with, not only, like, incidents like the Central Park jogger, but just, like, you've got... L L.A., everything. L.A., New York, you've got, like, AIDS and pregnancy at 12 and yeah. stuff like that, too. What else do you write about? Well, uh, I don't always try to keep such a dismal point yeah. of view, you know, <laughs> but it's mostly... Uh, I personally write about a lot of things that uh, just affect me, mostly a lot of like news topics and mm -hmm. things like that or things that actually have happened to me. Try to stay away from uh, general topics, fast cars, fast women, the yeah. uh, usual rock and roll thing. So you write about things that people should really think about? Yeah, or at least I think they should. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how well that goes over, but it is personal. A lot yeah. of opinionated stuff. That's really wonderful, because um, you don't find a lot of bands that do that. They'll just write about whatever they think the audience wants to hear. Yeah, well, it's, I think they're, uh, you know, usually more comfortable writing something about, you know, a topic that they know people are going to want to hear about. Yeah. But, you know, music should, I think, should be more of like what you want to talk about. Yeah. Okay, so. well, um, I want to thank you for coming down here thank today. Thank you. You're welcome. And um, continued success with the band. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. You're welcome.